Laura wants to double the area of her garden uh, by increasing the length and width by the same amount. What will the dimensions, what will be the dimensions of her garden then? So we can see up here we have her garden, nine and six, and she wants to increase the dimensions by the same amount. So that means that she wants to, you know, make this a little bit bigger down here, and she wants to make this a little bit bigger over here. So really she's adding on this whole section. She wants to do it by the same amount. So I'm gonna erase that because that's looking really hard to see. So she's going here by the same amount. So we are, I would say, you know, going down from this side that was six to now having a same amount. And we don't know how much that amount is, so we'll call that X. And then we were going, you know, this direction, right? And we're adding on a little piece here, and we'll also call that X. So when we think about her new rectangle, or that we'd have in red, you had originally a side that was six, right, up and down six, but we're going down X, so this is increased to six plus X. And then the same thing with the other dimension, right? It was nine and it went bigger to the right by the same amount of X. So instead of a nine by six rectangle garden, um, she now has a six plus X by nine plus X rectangle garden. But we want to find out what will those dimensions be of her new garden, right? What six plus X, nine plus X, what will it be? Is it going to be, you know, if I add one to each side, is it seven by 10? Um, if I add two by sides, is it eight by 11? You know, what's it going to be? Well, we have to remember this other part that they mention, which says that she's going to double the area. So you have this area over here, and the new one is two times that area. Well, how do we find area of a garden or a rectangle? Right? Area is length times width. So her old garden, her old area was six times nine. Her new garden, her new area, is going to be two times that amount. But it's also equal to length times width, right? So it's equal to six plus x times nine plus x. And now you have the information that you can put together to write an equation, right? Her new garden is going to be double the old garden. So it's going to be two times the product of six and nine and we can look at the dimensions of our new garden, and that's six plus x times nine plus x. All right, so this equation here again, this is the length times the width of her new garden, which is double the length times the width of her old garden. So in order to solve this equation, we wanna use factoring, um, but you know, you're like, oh, well, it's factored. We already have everything right here. It's not equal to zero. So we actually have a lot more work that we need to do to get it ready to factor. Uh, let's go ahead and multiply, you know, six times nine, and then times two, right? Six times nine is 54. Times two would be 108. And then you're like, oh, well, you know, we still have factored on the other side. Again, it's not equal to zero, so we actually need to FOIL that on the right. So we're gonna take six times nine, that's 54. Six times X is six X. Um, we distributed the six right there. Distribute the X, X times nine is nine X. X times X is X squared. So, it's getting close to that standard form. Um, first, there's a couple different things where we have like terms that we would wanna combine. I'd wanna put the x squared in front, but I also wanna get it equal to zero. So I'm gonna do a couple steps at once. I'm gonna subtract 108 over, so it's zero equals. I'm gonna move the x squared in front. Six x plus nine x is 15 x. And if I take 54 minus 108, it should be negative 54, right? Because we doubled that to get 108. So negative 54. Okay, so x squared plus 15x minus 54. And so now what we need to do is we need to think of factors of negative 54 that add to equal 15. All right, so I'm going to write this over here. We need to think of two numbers, right, that multiply to give us negative 54. I'm just going to use x's. I'm going to multiply to give us negative 54 and add to give us 15. And if you're like me, you would have thought, well, 9 plus 6, right? That's how we got 15, and 9 times 6 is 54. 
I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't work. That's not right. Um, and that's because of the fact that we have a negative 54. I can't forget about those negatives. The only way that you can get a negative by multiplying is to take a positive times a negative, right? So if you took positive 6 times negative 9, and you would get 50, negative 54, but positive 6 plus negative 9 is negative 3. It's not 15, right? To get 15, they'd have to be the same sign. So that kind of works against each other. So it's those tricky types of factoring when you could have different factors that add together to give you your number, but you have to take the signs into account, right? Because 9 plus 6 is 15, but one has to be negative and the other one has to be positive. So you're not going to get 15 when you add them. So we need to think of a different pair of factors that would still add to give us 15 and multiply to give us negative 54. So you can get out a calculator and just try plugging numbers, right? You could do, well, 54 divided by 2 because it's even, and that's 27. That's what I do. I usually start with the little numbers, and I just keep building up. And so next after 2 is 3. And if you do take 54 divided by 3, it's 18. So you could have negative 3 and positive 18 because negative 3 times positive 18 is negative 54. Negative 3 plus 18 is positive 15. So our factors then are going to be x minus 3 and x plus 18 equals 0. And to finish solving our equation now, we set each of those equal to 0, right? x minus 3 equals 0, x plus 18 equals 0. So x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 18. And so we have two answers. Are both of them, though, going to be our answers? We have to think about what this problem is. Again, go back to the beginning. What will be the dimensions of her garden? So x equals 3 and a negative 18, those aren't her dimensions. Remember, those are the numbers that you would then plug in up here. You would do 9 plus 3 or 9 plus negative 18. And 9 plus negative 18, that doesn't work. Right? That's going to give you a negative length of a side. So 9 plus 3, though, does give us 12. And you would do 6 plus 3, and that gives you 9. So her new dimensions are 12 meters by 9 meters, right? Don't forget that they did in the original figure. They give you the units of meters up here. So you want to make sure that you include meters um, in your answer. So 12 meters by 9 meters is her new garden. That is going to give you an area that's double the old garden, right? Because 12 times 9 is equal to... 108, right? And 108 is double 9 times 6, which is 54.